Hey what's up, it's Chris from Brooker Films and in today's video I'm going to show you how to add digital camera shake to your videos. So let's stop wasting time and let's jump straight into it. Digital camera shake can be really useful for a wide variety of reasons and in today's video I'm going to cover two different types of camera shake. The first type is going to be an aggressive earthquake type camera shake. This technique is much shorter and it's typically used to articulate a music video or add emphasis to a specific beat. And the second type of camera movement that I'm going to show you how to do in this video is going to turn your boring static tripod shots into more interesting handheld looking shots. So let's waste no time, let's grab our footage and let's jump straight into Adobe After Effects. So once you have loaded up Adobe After Effects, we just need to begin by creating a brand new composition. So we're going to press new composition. And then from here, we're just gonna make sure that the settings are 1920 by 1080p. And then we're just gonna make sure that is 23.976 frames per second. And then we'll just rename this to camera shake. And we can press okay on that. Press import, and we're gonna navigate the way through the finder and just import that footage. Now, once that has been created, we can just drag that down onto the timeline and this is our video. As you can see, this is a really boring shot. It was filmed on a tripod. There's no movement to it whatsoever. So what do we do if we just want to add a little bit of handheld camera shake to this? Well, we would use the Wheelarama tool in the effects tab to do this. So let's go over to the effects tab on the right and we're just gonna search for wiggle. And then we're just gonna pull the Wiggle-Arama down on top of the footage. Now instantly you're going to see that there is black edges on the video because this is too extreme. So we just want to go into the tab on the left and we just want to dial in all of the settings. Now that's much better, it's a lot less aggressive than it was and this looks much more realistic to handheld camera shake. However, as you can see the black layer underneath this footage is now coming through and this just looks really unprofessional. So we need to go into the transform tab and we just need to pull up the scale to around 110. Just be really careful when you're doing this though, because if you increase the scale to a number too high, then you're going to start to lose quality. So just be careful not to overdo this. And that's how you add handheld looking camera movement to basic boring tripod shots. But what do we do if we want to add an extreme camera movement? So let's say this footage is from a music video. It's synced up to a track and the music builds and builds and builds. And then on the drop, the force from the beat hits the camera and you see this camera shake. To do this effect, we need to go through and we need to find the point where we want to create this effect. And once we've found that, we just need to go into transform and we need to set a keyframe for position, scale and rotation. Now we need to go back three frames and create those same three keyframes. And then we need to go forward six frames and do the same thing again. So just select all of those. And now from here, we can go into that middle set of keyframes. That was our original set of keyframes that we made. And we just need to pull the scale up to around 120. And then we're also just gonna add a little bit of rotation to this. So we're gonna rotate the camera around 5%. Now we'll go back one frame and we'll pull the rotation in the other way. So we'll set the rotation to around negative three. Now we'll go across two more frames and we'll do the same thing again. We'll set that to negative three. And there you go. That is the basic camera hit. However, the problem with this effect is it looks really digital and really fake. So we need to add some realism to that. So to do this, we just need to go and we need to turn on motion blur. So we're just gonna go over to this logo here. That's the three circles and selecting all of our video layers. We just want to turn this on by pressing that box. And then we just need to go up to the toolbar above and press that same logo to activate the motion blur. So just press that and instantly you'll see that the footage is suddenly blurry. Now when we play this back, that's an aggressive camera hit and that's going to be really nice if you're using this to emphasize a beat in a music video. So all we need to do from here is to just CC this back into Adobe Premiere Pro or export this from Adobe After Effects by adding this to your render queue and then adjusting all of the settings. And then the effect is now complete. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to stay updated on all future uploads. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do truly appreciate it. I hope you're having the most incredible day today. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.